Hello everyone. Welcome to Taxo, the Accounts and Tax Office. Today we have come up with TDL which will help us to create different invoice formats in Tele ERP 9. You don't need to have knowledge of TDL programming to do this. Now here are the some features of do-it-yourself invoice customization. You can add your own columns. You can set visibility of your own columns. You can set visibility of existing columns and you can also set width of both new and existing columns. You can set borders of your own and existing columns. You can use formula to calculate value of your own and existing columns. You can add total subtotals to the selected columns and you can also set the position location of your own columns and invoice. And you know what? Technically, there is no limit to the number of invoice formats you can create with this utility. Now let's see how we do it. This is the default tele invoice. This invoice is for providing security services to a customer. This invoice format do not give complete details of services provided. For example, number of security guards, number of days, the rate charged, these details are missing from the format. Even if we provide this information in narration or additional description fields of tele, it won't like a professional invoice. Now we want to add these three columns to our invoice format. Number of person, number of days, wages per day. Please note here that these column headings are in two different rows. For example, number of is in first row and persons in second row of the same column. Now go to F11 company features set enable Texo dynamic invoice customization to yes. Now go to accounts information menu of Tele. create a new voucher type based on sales. Here you can add columns to the default Tele sales invoices. Here we have added three new columns, first one for number of persons, second for number of days and last one for rate per day. You can set different parameters for these columns as shown here. Now after adding these columns, we need to change one important parameter of default amount column of Tele. Let's see how we do it. This screen you can see that we have altered heading of the amount column to total amount and set the formula to yes. Now in this example formula would be total amount is equal to column 2 into column 3. Let's see it in next screen. You can set the formula as shown here. Please be careful while creating the formula. Mathematical rules like board mass should be followed. So it most care has been taken. We don't guarantee the accuracy of the formula. So kindly ensure its accuracy. Now save the voucher type. On saving it. It will ask for restart of tele so that new invoice format could be uploaded. If after saving voucher type, it doesn't ask for restart, kindly alter the voucher type you created and save it again. Go to voucher, F8, sales, select your newly created voucher type. Next step is to go to accounts info and alter leisure masters belonging to sales or income groups for which new fields are to enabled. The setting is required because these fields will not have any relevance to ledgers not belonging to sales or income groups. Please note that in case of item invoice, these fields would by default be enabled for all stock items as sales ledger is affected by stock items. Amount will come automatically after you enter rate per day. Also note the columns headings here. You can disable new columns here in F12 configuration window. By default, these new columns are active when you create a new. Now, here is the invoice format you created. Here in print settings, there is option to print or not print new columns. When set to yes, it will ask for printing, non-printing of individual columns. Similarly, there is option for printing, not printing subtotals. Subtotal printing is to be used for only number, quantity and amount fields and available only total is set to yes in voucher type configuration. Now let me remind you the features this utility has. You can add your own columns. You can set visibility of your own columns. You can set visibility of existing columns and you can also set width of both new and existing columns. You can set borders of your own and existing columns. You can use formula to calculate value of your own and existing columns. 
you can add total subtotals to the selected columns and you can set the position location of your own columns in invoice last but not the least technically there is no limit to the number of invoice formats you can create with this utility thank you friends for watching my video hope you liked it